In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cold email prospects that you scraped from Google Maps. So what's really important in cold emailing is you need to provide some sort of instant value, free value, free of charge as your hook, as your offer. You know, either a video audit or some people do trials, seven day trials. Well, I'm going to show you a new way that might tickle you fancy. So from what we scraped, one of the interesting things we were able to grab was how many reviews they did, the part that's in parentheses. So there's a tool that allows you to generate a Google review pop-up link. And so basically, let's put in, you know, a company. And so, you know, we choose the company, we click continue. And watch, watch what happens. I'm going to take this link, I'm going to paste it. Would you look at that? You know, people have always had trouble getting reviews written. This link allows one of their customers to, all they have to do is just click on it, it pops up, it already puts five stars, and they just have to type and click post. That is great value. And it was super easy to make, but they don't know that. So what I like to do is I like to take that link and put it into a URL shortener and email these prospects, hey, I'll create a free Google review pop-up for you. And then that I either follow up with a phone call or follow up with an email on, hey, how, did, how was it going? You know, maybe give them some advice and then try to sell them on, on what I'm actually trying to sell. So let's clean up this list so that it's ready for doing Google reviews. So basically, we need to clean up this list. So first thing I notice is this little dot is in every single one. So let's remove everything after the dot. So we're going to go over to Power Tools. We're going to click on Remove. Okay. And then let's delete it as well. Here, this will be There we go. Before parentheses. There we go. And then I'm going to replace no reviews with zero. Okay. So now we have this. So how do we use it to our advantage? So I'm going to use this program called Woodpecker. And let's bring in these this list of prospects. Okay, so we're gonna download this. All right, so now I'm gonna go to Add Prospects, and I'm gonna add the list. So let's uh, pull up that Google Sheets. Okay, 
So we're gonna download it. Gonna click browse. Gonna upload and import. And then we're gonna change this to make it snippet one. We're gonna check mark ignore the first row when importing. I'm going to click import. And we're going to click go to prospects. And we're going to we're going to start a campaign now. Okay. Name our campaign Orlando Plumbers. And then I basically choose the email. And For this, we're putting so I'm going to put hi there. I was checking out, and I'm going to enter the company's name. Google Maps listing and I noticed that you only have when people search for a plumber in Orlando reviews play a huge part in their decision or maybe I throw in um, Would you be interested in having a Google review pop-up link created free of charge for your business? And it's always good to like space things out, you know? might throw in there this link will send your customers st straight to your Google Maps listing for them to re write a review here is an example and I'll just put And then you can add another email. Hi there. I'm just chiming in. Were you able to see my email about helping get more reviews on your Google Maps listing? on its here is an example
you will notice that it automatically puts five stars. And then you can go for a third one if you want. Uh, and the last part with this software, it's really important that you make sure you, you put in the link. And you put that part in. It's also good to um, track clicks. We should also oops HTTP colon add oops I forgot I need to track the clicks. And then I'll just put cheers. And then basically, you put in, you know, how many emails to send per day. It's never good to go past um, like 400. And then you can choose like what times between to send it and then the next part is add in the prospects so let's select all select all 281 add And then let's preview the campaign. And you can see it automatically puts in their name. And as you have 118 reviews, but you only have two reviews, see, it just automatically puts it in. And ooh, it looks like I'm going to need to fix. And so yeah, so when you're ready to go, you can just click save and send. And that is basically how you do a cold email campaign when you're scraping Google Maps.